Hello, Girl Scout sisters, and happy Sunday. Welcome. Thank you for joining us today for our Girl Scout Bridge to Senior ARC event. Many girls here are here today representing girls in different stages of scouting. We have cadets who are not bridging soon, however, wanted to participate and satisfy this badge requirement. We currently have cadets who are soon to be seniors who are going to bridge this year. And we may even have a few seniors who have bridged prior to satisfying this badge requirement and want to put that badge to senior rainbow arc on their vest. Whoever you are and for whatever the reason, thank you for coming and thank you for joining us. My name is Avocado and I'm here with my Girl Scout troop from Northern California. We are thrilled that you decided to spend your Sunday with us, having meaningful discussions, learning a lot and earning your bridge to senior arc along the way. As we move through the session, be sure to have your bridge to senior printout and a pen and pencil nearby so you can capture any notes or questions you may have. We will have time for questions at the end of the session. Girl Scouts is filled with traditions, many of them with you today. We will share many with them, of them with you today. There is the promise in law, there is the Pledge of Allegiance, and there is the Friendship Circle. Flag ceremonies are an important part of Girl Scouting. I'm sure you can think of many more traditions. One of my favorite Girl Scout traditions is the Repeat After Me song. I'm sure by now all of you have your favorite Girl Scout song. The act of bridging from one Girl Scout level to the next or stepping up is certainly a Girl Scout tradition that most of you have enjoyed many times before now. As we all know, there are six levels to Girl Scouts, daisies, brownies, juniors, cadets, which most of you are, then seniors and ambassadors. Your upcoming bridging ceremony will be the fourth bridging ceremony for many of you. During a typical bridging ceremony, there are acknowledgements, we reminisce about what we have accomplished during the past Girl Scout level, and we get certificates and awards. Sometimes we even get to bridge over an actual bridge, which is super fun. During our bridging cer ceremonies, we always have snacks and cake at the end. Of course, we love all that. However, today is not a bridging ceremony. Remember, everyone gets to bridge. There is no requirement to bridge or step up from one level to the next. However, the bridging badge, also known as an arc or rainbow, is an earned badge. Like all earned badges in Girl Scouts, there are requirements. In, uh, in order to bridge from one level to the next and earn your arc, or rainbow badge, you must complete two steps. Bridging step one, pass it on. For this step, you can do one or more of the following or create your own. Here are some ideas for you to think about as you, as you decide how you want to satisfy step one of this badge. This is a good time for you to get out your pen, pencil, and paper and take notes as this step will not be accomplished today. Okay, here are some ideas. Take a group of junior Girl Scouts to your favorite hiking spot. Demonstrate something outdoor, something about outdoor safety and talk about leave no trace or share memories of a favorite cadet adventure. Teach girls a favorite Girl Scout tradition. Inspire girls to climb up to cadet. Inspire juniors to earn their Girl Scout Silver Award. Share details of your project with a PowerPoint presentation and talk them through the steps of the project. Let them know how tough times were overcome and how much fun you had along the way. What about younger girls who are not in Girl Scouts yet? Inspire them to join. There are a lot of ideas, but these are just a few. Any way you want to pass along what you've learned and experienced to younger scouts will do. Bridging step two, look ahead. This is what you're doing today. You're looking ahead to the senior level of Girl Scouting. This event is all about guests satisfying the step two requirements of the, of the Bridge to Arc Award. As you mentioned previously, you will have to satisfy step one at a later time after you decide how you want to do that. Today, we will talk about a lot of things that our troop has done as seniors. Please keep in mind that much of our senior experience was in the middle of COVID, so we had to be very creative. We will talk about community service, badge earning, pin earning, money earning, travel, presidential service awards, and more. Interestingly enough, this event also satisfies a badge requirement for us, the hosts. As we bridge to adults, which will happen next year, we will have to satisfy step one, which is pass it on. So as we pass it on, you will look forward and we will all satisfy a step to earn our bridging art. Sounds like a mutually beneficial time. Okay, my Girl Scout sisters, it's time for me to hand you off to my friend and Girl Scout sister, Candyland.
Thank you, Avocado. Hello, Girl Scout sisters. Welcome to our Girl Scout Bridge to Senior Arc event. My name is Candyland, and I'm so excited to pass it on so that you all can look forward to the Girl Scout Senior level. In true Girl Scout tradition and fashion, we're going to start with the Girl Scout Promise and Law. On my honor, I will try to serve, serve God, God in my country, help, to help, help people at all times, and to live by the Girl Scout law. I will do my best to be honest and, honest and fair, fair, friendly and helpful, friendly and helpful considerate and caring, courageous, courageous and strong, and responsible, and responsible for what I say and do, and to respect, to respect myself, myself and others, respect, respect and authorities, authorities, use resources wisely, make the world a better, better place, and be a sister to every Girl Scout. That was great. Thank you for joining me. Okay, my Girl Scout sisters, it's time for me to hand you off to my friend, the Girl Scout sister, Kyle. Thank you, Candyland. Hello, Girl Scout sisters. Welcome to our Girl Scout Bridge to Senior Arc event. My name is Papaya, and I'm so excited to pass it on so that you can all look ahead to the Girl Scout Senior level. I have the great honor of leading you through the Pledge of Allegiance. Please see the flag on the screen. Please put your right hand over your heart and join me. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. That was great. Thank you for joining me. Okay, my Girl Scout sisters, it's time for me to hand you off to my friend and Girl Scout sister, Coconut. Thank you, Papaya. Hello, Girl Scout sisters. Welcome to our Girl Scout Bridge to Senior ARC event. My name is Coconut California, and I'm so excited to pass it on so that you all look ahead to the Girl Scout Senior level. It's my job to go over the rules for our event today. Most of the rules are found in the Girl Scout Promise and Law we just recited. Please respect yourself and others during the session, and everyone should have a great time. Rule number one is to have an adult with you the entire time. You should not be participating in this event without a safe adult nearby. Rule number two, please use the Zoom chat feature if you have any questions. If you have a question about the event, you may send a direct message to any of us Girl Scouts who are hosting this event. As a hint, if you need to send a message to a host, select one who is not presenting so we can get back to you in a more reasonable time frame. Rule number three, please put your Zoom on speaker mode. This is important. This will allow you to better see the instruction during this event. You should do that now. Get rule number four, get to know your reactions buttons. We will ask you for a thumbs up during several parts of the session. Using your reaction buttons, show me your thumbs up. Uh, also, we will ask you to use your raised hand function if you need us to slow down. Using your reaction buttons, show me your raised hand. Rule number five, please change your Zoom name to your camp name plus your state. For example, my name is Coconut California. If you have a camp name, if you don't have a camp name, you can use your favorite candy. For example, I could also be Skittles California. This is to protect your privacy. You can go ahead and do that now. Rule number six, let your family and anyone in your house know when you have your Zoom video on. This event will be recorded and we'll be taking pictures and screenshots. If you don't want your picture shared, please turn off your Zoom video camera. Rule number seven, you may leave to use the restroom if you need to. You do not need to ask permission. Rule number eight, learn a lot and have fun. Okay, my Girl Scout sisters, it's time for me to hand you off to my friend and Girl Scout sister, Chupacabra. Thank you, Coconut. Hello, Girl Scout sisters. Welcome to our Girl Scout Bridge to Senior ARC event. My name is Chupacabra or Chupacabra California since we all changed our Zoom chat names to protect our privacy. I'm so excited to pass it on so that you all can look ahead to the Girl Scout senior level. Avocado mentioned that we will be working on and satisfying one of the two requirements for the Bridge to Senior ARC badge. Step one, you will do another time you will decide on your own or with your troop how you want to pass it on. Today, it's all about step two, look forward. It is our job to share some of our most memorable senior moments with you. This should help you understand many of the options you have in front of you. 
Of course, every Girl Scout experience is unique to you. Even girls in the same troop don't have the same experience. One of the very important things to remember is that you are in charge of your experience and no one else. Why is this important? Well, as you get older, you will want to be more responsible of how you spend your time. If you feel like you're spending time on things that you are not interested in, then you are less likely to feel fully participate. When you participate in things you want to do and say no to things you don't want to do, you will have a more memorable and meaningful Girl Scout experience. Further in my experience and from what we know from our Girl Scouts and Council and Girl Scouts USA, girls are most likely to quit Girl Scouts between levels. Since the CSA level is sixth, seventh, and eighth grades, sometimes girls decide to quit Girl Scouts as they enter high school. By making sure you speak up, use your voice, and only say yes to the things you want to do, you will ensure that your Girl Scout experience is customized for your personal preferences. Your voice counts. Like I said, it's okay to say no. In fact, it's good practice to say no. Sometimes you have to say no to one thing so you have time and opportunity to say yes to something else. The Girl Scout leadership experience starts at the CSA level and continues into the senior level. Again, this leadership experience looks very different to each girl in each troop. Some girls want to pick their badges they work on and have their leaders set everything up. Some girls pick the badges and lead the badges they pick. Some girls elect not to work on badges but instead earn their PA, CIT, and VIT bars as well as their senior service to scouting and senior service to community bars. Some girls are aiming to complete their gold award, senior summit award, or gold torch award. This is what I will tell you, and this is really important. What the Girl Scout leadership experience looks like is not up to your leader. It's not even up to your parents. It's 100% up to you. Whatever you decide to do, and however you decide to do it, it's up to you. By entering into the senior level with this mindset, I suspect that you will absolutely love your senior experience and want to continue to progress in scouting until you bridge to adult. Something that I would like to mention is me personally, I love to do the PVSA hours. Earning all of this community service awards and all this, it looks really good on college resumes. And me personally and my family, a lot of my family members didn't attend college. So the fact that I'm only a sophomore in high school and I have a pretty good college resume already because of Girl Scouts is really amazing. And I will probably be one of the first people in my family to attend college. So it's a really good thing. And Girl Scouts helps us in so many ways. Lastly, I think it goes unsaid that being a Girl Scout looks great on your college resume application and resume, as I just stated. When you share your years in scouting, your high awards like the Summit Awards and Brawl Silver and Gold Awards, service to scouting community bars and cumulative hours you have spent on community service projects, you will be a more interesting and well-rounded college applicant. So get your pen, pencil, and paper ready. Take lots of notes and write down your questions for us at the end of the session. We will try to answer as many questions as possible. Okay, my Girl Scout sisters, it's time for me to hand you off to my friend and Girl Scout sister, Coconut. Thank you, Chupacabra. Hello, Girl Scout sisters. It's me again, Coconut. And I'm so excited to pass it on so that you all can look ahead to the Girl Scout senior level. Our troop bridged from cadet to senior in the summer of 2020. If you think back, that was when we were in complete lockdown due to COVID. It was March 2020 when we were first told to shelter in place. I remember that time distinctly as we were talking about the impending lockdown during our final in-person Girl Scout meeting on Wednesday, March 4th. We were outside behind our meeting hall. We decided to create makeshift stoves using cinder blocks as part of our EcoTracker Step 3 badge requirements. We built fires in them and made Jiffy Pop popcorn and s'mores. That was so much fun. Once the lockdown went into place, we immediately shifted to Zoom meetings. We didn't miss one meeting due to COVID. We have met on the first and third Wednesday of each month for over 10 years. Within a month, many of us girls took a virtual baking class. Then we took an outdoor cooking class virtually over Zoom. The end of our cadet level was pretty much like that, meeting via Zoom and taking classes over Zoom. We even had a virtual slumber party and would regularly have Netflix watch parties where we would watch movies and eat and chat. 
We hosted a similar session to the one we are hosting now back then for juniors to satisfy our bridging arc requirement. We also met with an older troop, just as you are doing right now. We virtually bridged to seniors in July 2020. It was actually not that bad. Of course, we'd rather do it together since we love the candle ceremony, the acknowledgements, and the snacks. Of course, we love being together, so that's what we miss most. But like I said, it wasn't that bad. Our leader made it fun. We all got bridging kits, essentially gifts, along with our badges and awards. And our family came, our family from all over got to zoom in and watch us bridge and hear about what we did as cadets, and they love that. The first thing we did after we bridged was participate in a virtual senior outdoor journey. Most of the girls on our trip have earned the Summit Award at each level. For those of you who don't know, the Summit Award is earned after a Girl Scout completes three journeys and takes a takes and take action projects at their level. Also, it is important to note that you need to complete a senior journey and take action project before you can start your gold award. To be more clear, if you earned your silver award as a cadet, you have to complete one senior journey and take action project before starting the gold award process. There are other requirements as well. However, if you did not do your silver award project and you wish to go for gold, you must complete two senior journeys and take action projects. So I just mentioned that there are other requirements to go for gold as well. One of those is a gold award preparation course. So as new seniors, we all did that right away after bridging as well. In fact, we took this course more than once. I highly recommend that. Our troop has always loved to travel. We've been climbing up the Girl Scout outdoor progression chart since we were daisies. We were supposed to go to Savannah, Georgia, the birthplace of Juliet Gordon Lowe, founder of Girl Scouts in the USA in summer of 2020. Of course, that was delayed due to COVID. Instead, we went the following summer in July 2021, which personally I liked more because we were a year older, so we got to have more freedom. We earned our money to go to Savannah through hosting money earning events, more than just selling cookies and fall products. So while our troop has earned many badges, bars, and journeys, our number one focus from the cadet level until now has been to earn enough money for travel. In the summer of 2022, we took a two week road trip to up and down California to look at colleges and each day we would do one college and then the next day we'd do one fun thing. So I really enjoyed that. And then this next summer, we're going to be visiting London and Paris for about two weeks, which I think is gonna be super fun. And we make all that money through money earning events. So as you step up to senior, know that you can take part in all national and global travel opportunities offered by Girl Scouts. Okay, my Girl Scout sisters, it's time for me to hand you off to my friend and Girl Scout sister, Tammy. Thank you, Coconut. Hello, Girl Scout sisters. Welcome to our Girl Scout Bridge to Senior Arc event. My name is Tammy Rhode Island, and I'm so excited to pass it on so that you all can look ahead to the Girl Scout Senior level. You might notice that my state, state behind my name is different than that of my Girl Scout sisters. That is because I moved from California to Rhode Island. One of the silver lining of COVID has been that we have transformed the majority of our meetings to Zoom. And this has allowed me to fully participate. Further, we, as we get older and have more homework, sports, band, jobs, and other activities, being able to jump on a Zoom meeting has encouraged greater attendance and participation still today. And when I first moved, I was really worried about like falling behind with my Girl Scout sisters. But like during the peak of the pandemic, we would have like sleepovers on Zoom, like Coconut mentioned, and I like really enjoy that. And I always get to see my Girl Scout sisters whenever we travel. And Coconut has been talking a lot about travel. We have made it a goal and a true priority to travel each summer. That means that we all dedicate the money earning events in creating and hosting money earning events. We all committed to a level of participation in the beginning of the year. So it is honest and fair. We spend a fair amount of our troop time planning, participating, and hosting these events, both live and over Zoom. Because it was COVID and we had a little more free time on our hands, we did earning it. We did earn a lot of senior badges as well. As well, as Coconut mentioned, we earned the Senior Outdoor Journey. This is a set of three badges. Those were the first we earned. The next badge we earned was through the Zoom with an expert series. Senior room makeover, we all like that one. We also found a programmer to teach us the senior coding badges over Zoom. Those weren't our favorites. We love the collage artist badge. 
We also had a doctor present to our group for the Women's Health Badge. We later also heard from a mental health professional so that we took a different look at women's health. Okay, give me a thumbs up if you'd like to eat. That's a lot of thumbs up. Me too. In fact, our entire troop loves to eat. One of our favorite senior badges was the local route of badge. We interviewed the director of our local farmer's market and then all made fresh homemade foods together over Zoom. In fact, I'll send you our strawberry salsa recipe for y'all to make. It's a troop favorite for sure. We also earned some IP badges. IP stands for interest project badges. You can look those up later. You might want to write that down. IP badges were, were available for a limited period of time and now are re reproduced by some companies so girls can continue to earn them. Remember the saying, once badge, always the badge. We put all of our IP, IP badges on the lower left side of our vest on the sides with the insignia tab. And I have my vest here. And I have a few of my let me take off my background. I have a few of mine right here, lower bottom. So that's what my badges look like. My, a favorite IP badge was an aviation badge. We attended a Zoom with an expert and we learned from a female unit pilot who has been in that role for over 20 years. We all did, we did all of that before the new Girl Scout year on October 1st. Whew, that was a lot. We really stayed focused on Girl Scouting during the lockdown, and this kept us very bonded in our sisterhood. Okay, my Girl Scout sisters, it's time for me to hand you off to my friend and Girl Scout sister, Papaya. Thank you, Temi. Hello again, Girl Scout sisters. I hope everyone is enjoying our Girl Scout Bridge to Senior Arc event. Give me a thumbs up if you're learning a lot and giving ideas for your senior experience. Don't forget to take a lot of notes. As a reminder, my name is Papaya California and I'm excited to pass it on so that you all can look ahead to your Girl Scout senior level. Temi just shared with you all what we did between bridging in July and when we started our Girl Scout year on October 1st. As many of you know, the Girl Scout year runs from October 1st through September 30th each year. Your first meeting of Girl Scout year is a good time to discuss what you want to do and accomplish in the new Girl Scout year. It's important to brainstorm and capture the notes. It's also important that the results of this session is set a path and directions for all of the troops activities in that year. We are always discussing the following. What badges we want to earn, which bars we want to earn, which special awards we want to earn, for example, the Gold Torch Award or the Summit Award we've already discussed where we want to camp, what else we want to do as a troop that has nothing to do with the badges or awards, like going to the movie or having a summer party, and then anything else you can think of. This discussion is very important for you to have with your Girl Scout sisters. This is a Girl Scout leadership experience. You and your Girl Scout sisters decide the direction of your troop. This is where you ha have seen it to be tricky for Girl Scout troops. Sometimes the leaders want to focus on badges and the girls want to go in a different direction. It's important to be honest and transparent with your leader about what you want to do. Honestly, sometimes leaders think it's their job to lead you in the direction of badges. Badges are great and fun and educational. However, at this point in Girl Scout experience is more. It's your job as a troop, troop mates to decide the direction your troop wants to go and let your leader know how you need their support. And by the way, if you learn earning, earning badges, do it. Don't get me wrong. I have a badge. I have a vest full of badges. This is how we do it. During our back to troop meeting, we all have a robust discussion about what we want to do in the upcoming year. Ahead of the meeting, we remind all the girls in our troop about which topic we will be discussing ahead of our back to troop meeting. This gives everyone the opportunity to do a little research beforehand. For example, when we do some of ours, we will make slideshows and present where we want to go for travel and some fun things that we could do. I know one year I did a slideshow on going to Florida and presented that. Finally, at the meeting, 
we've put a sign on three walls. Each says badges and awards, camping locations, and other activities we want to do, which are not Girl Scout related. We encourage each girl to come up with a, come to the meeting with three to five ideas for each category. Then we have a pile of papers for each topic that come up. For example, if we are talking about badges and awards and someone wants to earn the coding series, we would write a coding badge on the paper, then tape the badge to the wall. On another wall, we would have papers with camping locations. On the third wall, we would all have ideas of things we want to do together, non-Girl Scout activities, like going to the movies or to the aquarium. Does that make sense? Now we have three walls with papers with ideas taped on them. So if you have 10 girls and each girl suggests three things per wall, you would have a total of 30 ideas per wall. Okay, next we each get 15 dot stickers. These are our voting stickers. We can get five votes for each wall. For the first vote on our badge awards, after the vote, it's really clear which badges the troops want to do. Out of the 30 ideas, generally we pick the top five badges with the most votes, but we take note of the next five alternatives. We do the same thing for camping locations and then fun activities. Once you have this information, you ask your Girl Scout leader to use this as a guide for the upcoming year. If you want to travel and work towards a goal, which we suggest, be sure to suggest that under the other category as there's no badges for travel. Now that I come to think of it, you could suggest going camping in the travel destination. For us, outside of money earning and the community service opportunities, because we earn our presidential volunteer service award each year, we do not plan anything as a troop that isn't voted on the list. This is how we lead our troop in the direction to have meaningful and fun-filled years to, of scouting. This is also how we keep everyone engaged in scouting. Okay, my Girl Scout sisters, it's time for hand. It's time for me to hand you off to my friend and Girl Scout sister, Candyland. Uh, thank you, Papaya. Hello again, Girl Scout sisters. I hope everyone is enjoying our Girl Scout Bridge to Senior Arc event. As a reminder, my name is Candyland, California, and I'm so excited to pass it on so that you can all look forward, look ahead to the Girl Scout Senior level. Papaya just mentioned the Presidential Volunteer Service Award or PVSA Award. This is a non-Girl Scout award that you can earn by volunteering. Girl Scouts is a certifying organization. You can ask your service unit if they are set up to do this for you. You may want to write this that down. Uh, we like the PVSA awards because it encourages us to volunteer a minimum of 100 hours each calendar year. Once your calendar year is over, you can get a certificate letter signed by the President of the United States, a pin and a medal. If you keep track of your total hours as a 9th, 10th, 11th, and 12th grader, you can use the total hours of volunteering on your college application. In 2022, we earned our fifth consecutive PVSA award. We earned a lot of, a lot of our service hours by doing Girl Scouts Girl Scout at home service projects like sewing and donating masks and writing cards to seniors in our community. Let me share with you our most recent project. We partnered with Meals on Wheels and they deliver one card with a meal. We get a lot of, return, of returning mail thanking us for our cards over the years. We have made thousands of homemade cards. Um, okay. Uh, that is one of my favorite um, activities to do in the P with PVSA because um, we're able to make give make give cards to elderly people and make them make their day. Um, some of the badges we completed the first year of being a senior was business etiquette behind the ballot and the science and science of style. This was a very fun. We had a panel of experts on Zoom, a uh, Zoom in and shared with us about hair, skincare, and uh, jewelry, sunglasses, and eye care, and more. Uh, one thing I remember and that I loved doing during our senior year was a COVID Galentine dinner. We all got the ingredients to make chicken and fettuccine cooked together over Zoom, put on red clothes, and had a group. Zoom dinner together. That was super fun. We also did a two-day journey 
online, the so what journey, this is one that I really wish we did in person. It would have been a lot more fun for us. The take action project was more fun than the journey. We decided to offer a free virtual class for brownies and juniors, sharing what we learned. This event satisfied the snacks badge for brownies, the simple meals badge for juniors. Uh, we also made seed bombs and distributed them at the local farmer's market. We really liked that and it helped the pollinators in our community. Okay, my Girl Scout sisters, it's time for me to hand you off to my friend and Girl Scout sister, Avocado. Thank you, Candyland. Hello again, Girl Scout sisters. I hope everyone is enjoying our Girl Scout Bridge to Senior ARC event. As a reminder, my name is Avocado and I'm so excited to pass it on so that you all can look ahead to the Girl Scout senior level. We were able to travel two times during our senior year. We went to Savannah, Georgia in July, 2021. And then the following summer, we went on a two week road trip from Southern California to Northern California, visiting colleges, theme parks and other attractions along the way. We will send you the photos in our photo album in the follow up materials. It's important to know that other than our plane tickets from California to Georgia, our troop paid for all of the expenses for both trips. All of the troop money was earned through our money earning efforts. During our second year of senior scouting, we did more earning events and less badge earning as we agreed to during our back to troop meeting. Of course, we did some badge earning, but only the badges that we were interested in. We asked a local mechanic to host at his place of business where we all earned our car care badge. We also earned our senior Girl Scout Way badge, which was super fun. Our troop has been committed to camping. And of course, like the rest of the world, we took a break during COVID. Once we were meeting again, we went trick or treat camping at KOA in October, and that was super fun. There was no badge work. We went to a pumpkin patch, went through a corn maze, and picked a pumpkin. Back at the campsite, we cooked over a fire and painted our pumpkins. After dinner, we got dressed up and then went trick or treating. We had a great time. Each year for fall projects, we ask our troop who can we help and for the last several years we've been buying gifts for kids in our community who may not have a holiday gift we donate these gifts to the holiday bag project hosted by girl scout troop in our region each year they help hundreds of kids enjoy holidays with toys and necessities we shop to find the gifts we think they'll enjoy i always shop for a yeah like a, a two to five-year-old boy because i have two little brothers so i know exactly what they like and exactly what they need. Okay, my Girl Scout sisters, it's time for me to hand you off to my friend and Girl Scout sister, Coconut. Thank you, Avocado. Hello again, Girl Scout sisters. I hope everyone is enjoying our Girl Scout Bridge to Senior Arc event. As a reminder, my name is Coconut California, and I'm so excited to pass it on so you can all look ahead. There's no way for us to share with you each and everything we did as Girl Scout seniors. As you can probably tell, we are a really active troop. Before we open it up for questions, I wanna share with you two things. First, we earn a lot of our PVSA community volunteer service hours by working in our Girl Scout pollinator garden. As part of our Silver Award project, we installed a large bee habitat hummingbird garden to help the pollinators in our region. We spend a lot of time maintaining that garden to make sure it continues to be a place for pollinators to find food and water. This would qualify as a Gold Award project in many regions if you are thinking of ideas. Second, and more importantly, we completed our Girl Scout Senior Girltopia journey over a weekend and in person. This is our first and only in-person journey we got to do as a senior Girl Scout. We loved exploring a perfect world for girls. We rented a house for the weekend so that we could have equal time for journey work and friendship time. We played board games, ate a ton of ice cream, and enjoyed our hanging time. We highly recommend immersing yourself in your journeys over a weekend. By the way, we will be offering the Girltopia journey this upcoming year. We left with a take action project in mind. We decided to host a free event for junior Girl Scouts focusing on body positivity. All girls earn their staying fit badge. That was the third and final senior journey that we finished and we all earned our summit award. It was a great final journey for our senior level. Okay, my Girl Scout sisters, it's time for me to hand you off to my friend and Girl Scout sister Chupacabra. Thank you, Coconut. Hello again, Girl Scout sisters. I hope everyone is enjoying our Girl Scout British Senior Arc event. 
As a reminder, my name is Trooper Copper, California, and I'm so excited that we got to pass it on so that you all can look ahead to the Girl Scout senior level. I hope you learned a lot today. This is the part of the event where you can submit your questions to your host. You can direct message the Girl Scout you want to ask. Please know that we will answer as many questions as we can, and we will each take a question and then pass it on to the next person in our troop. We'll keep going as long as we can. Please do listen to what other girls are asking as we don't want to answer the same question more than once so that we have time for other questions. Only send your question to one host. You can submit several questions, of course. Just don't send the same question to multiple hosts. Give me a thumbs up if you understand. Okay, good. Before we start taking questions, please know that we will be sending you a follow-up packet with valuable resources along with the event recording. Also, we will have our virtual friendship circle and final song at the end of our Q&A session. So take a look at your notes and send us your questions. We are here to help you and be a resource to you. So I'll take the first question. So if you have any questions, you can direct message to me. Chupacabra, I already have multiple questions. Okay. So mm -hmm. Kit Kat asked me what kind of money, act money earning activities did you do? And a lot of the time we host journeys for younger Girl Scouts. I think it's usually up to around juniors. And we do... We did the staying fit badge. We did a couple of journeys. We did the junior outdoor journey multiple times. And we also do things around holidays. Like around Christmas time, we had a gingerbread making party. And yeah, we love those. And then Gecko Mom 2009 asked, where was the furthest you have traveled? And we went to Savannah, Georgia last summer. We're from California. So that's like West Coast to East Coast. So that was the furthest. Okay. And then somebody also asked me the same thing of how do we make money? Basically what Coconut just said also, like one of our most recent events was a single of the Mayo event. So we do things based off like holidays. And also we did, I believe, did we do a Halloween one? I don't know, but I know we, we've done like a Harry, like a Harry Potter one one time, <laughs> like fun things like that. And then somebody, else asked can we still earn the ip badges if anybody wants to take over that one but yeah i believe that's how you say it yeah yeah we could still earn the badges um yeah you just have to like i don't know exactly the process of getting it because it was like a while ago but i know they're still available anyone else have any questions i got a question from mango nj but i'm not sure how to answer it it says could you get an ip badge before your senior year in girl scouts you can right or... yeah i'm pretty sure we can yeah yeah okay Anyone else have any questions? So somebody is asking all of us, um, did any of us get our gold award yet? We've taken like the steps to getting it. I don't think, <clears throat> we haven't like thought of like any specific thing we wanted. We took like the planning it out kind of steps like over Zoom, but we haven't gotten the badge yet. And then somebody else asked, where do the, do you, do you pronounce it? Like where do the UP badges go again? Or the like? IP? Um, they go like right below where. Okay, with IP, yeah. Here, I have my vest with me. They go on the left-hand side on the bottom corner. Yeah. Okay, is that all the questions? I just really quick to go back to the IP badge question. Um, IP badges are available for all C 
CSA girls. Thank you, Papaya. Um, somebody else asked, is cookie sales, like are cookie sales still like a primary source of fundraising? I know they, they are, like you have to do the cookie, cookie sales and you have to get to like a certain number of boxes that you sell per girl if you wanted to participate in the money earning events. So they are like one of like the bases of getting money earning. But as you get older, like it's harder to sell the cookies. So we like more, lean more towards the money earning events. Okay, I think, I think that's all the questions that we got. Okay. I Sorry. have one more from okay. Baby Ruth. What is our favorite thing to do in Girl Scouts? And I'm going to speak for everyone on this one, and I'm going to say travel. We've been asked this so many times, and we all love traveling so much because we get to hang out, but we also get to see cool things. So, yeah. Yeah, I agree with, like, the traveling, like, mostly specifically because, like, I don't live in California anymore. I live in Rhode Island. Like, I don't see everyone in my troop anymore. But, like, during travel, I get to see everyone. I was like, oh, my God, I missed you all. So, yeah, I would say traveling. Okay. So those are very thoughtful questions. Thank you for participating and interacting with us today. I hope we were able to pass it on and help you prepare for maybe your best years of scouting. Hello again, Girl Scout sisters. It's me, Temi. I hope everyone enjoyed our Girl Scout Bridge to Senior Arc event. I hope you can see that there are many wonderful things ahead of you as Girl Scout seniors. Um, I actually just got a comment. Okay, someone just said that it, that they thought it would be easier selling when they're seniors because like we're able to have good salesmanship like that is true so some other girls like don't have as much salesmanship okay anyway <laughs> i hope everyone enjoyed our girl scout bridge to senior arc event i hope you all see like how good the senior girl scout seniors is when you're a senior <laughs> congratulations on satisfying step two of your bridge to senior arc award you will get a copy of this event recording so that you can go back and review it at a later time. Further, we hope this event was helpful to you as you plan to pass it on to Junior Scouts to satisfy step one of your Bridge to Arc Award. Remember, you can do this in person or virtually. Our time together is coming to an end. Before we leave, we wanted to share one last Girl Scout tradition with you. Normally, if we were in person, we would have a friendship circle. We would cross our arms, hold hands, do our friendship hand squeeze, put our foot in the middle of the circle before twirling out of the circle. Since we can't do that, we're going to share a Girl Scout sub tradition through song. This song is called Make New Friends But Keep the Old song and it is a great tradition to share sisterhood. Please unmute yourselves right now so we can sing one final song together. You can go ahead and unmute yourselves now. Give me a thumbs up when you're ready. Ready. <laughs>